President of the Senate, Lady Minister of Science and Technology, President of the High Council of Scientific Research, distinguished authorities, members of the diplomatic corps, members of the jury's laureates, dear friends, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to our ceremony, our third edition of BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Awards. This is a day of celebration. This is a day of the deepest meaning for the, our foundation and for our group, BBVA group, and we do think it is a very meaningful day for Spain, frontier of its knowledge from Spain and oriented towards scientists and creators without considering uh, nationality. Those are people representing the qualities, the spirit of modernity and the global projection of our country. And in our Frontiers of Knowledge Awards, uh, we would like to give a token of recognition and visibility to those having conducted research projects. And thanks to the creation, they're able to go beyond models and uh, beyond what's been inherited, opening new pathways towards a new understanding of the world, widening our cultural horizon and our aesthetic sensitivity. And on the other hand, the name of our award means that at the beginning of the 21st century, we have a never changing and dynamic environment, new frontiers, new borders, new links among different fields and uh, new collective demands. If we try to compare two rankings, one of the importance of contributions from different professional groups, and on the other hand, social recognition to the same groups, we'll see that they are not in line. There are sort of a lack of symmetry. In all societies, there is a great admiration and sort of a latent confidence towards researchers and those who innovate. Public opinion, trust science, but the image is of a low resolution quality and quite approximative. This is why there is a deficit of acknowledgement, token of recognitions given to researchers and those who are creating new things. We need new spaces, new ways to disseminate knowledge and achievements and the identity of those people. This is why we see that society is deprived from a core component, scientific culture. These awards are a way to translate latent recognition, acknowledgement into a very explicit acknowledgement and to uh, make it or render this public, the importance of uh, sciences. And we have here people who are not only uh, admired because of what they've done, but in search of excellence, represented by people here, by institutions, by those having received our awards, excellence is deeply rooted. First of all, in the personality and the pathway, the individualities of people, as we see in the biography of the laureates this evening. But excellence is also inscribed or deeply rooted in our scientific community and those creating new things. This is why we would like to acknowledge the work of those talented people, scientific community, those creating new things. Knowledge and culture are joint efforts. Cooperation is required. Without a daily activity, every day working worldwide, all scientists, all researchers, those creating, without that work, great contributions wouldn't take place. And we do hope that year after year, our Frontiers of Knowledge, of Knowledge Awards will enhance the importance of scientific culture and it's a celebration of passion for knowing new things and passion for innovation. And this is why new generations should take as a role model people who are creating, innovating with passion, activities 
allowing us to enjoy and to have this wealth of knowledge and at the same time developing a professional career. Frontiers of Knowledge Awards are with a seal of our times. This is the map of knowledge along the 20th and the beginning of the 21st century. This is a moment where we'll have to apply knowledge. And this family includes basic sciences represented by physics, chemistry, and mathematics, as well as interactions among those classic fields, basic sciences. They are the core of our knowledge. And now, they are even more important because they're getting reinvented continuously. Our awards at the same time represent the interaction of different fields contributing nowadays to uh, create biomedical sciences from basic biological research towards clinical research with technological development and new materials. Our family, Frontiers of Knowledge Awards, will comprise also ecology, conservation biology, climate change. Those are the most significant awards, internationally speaking, and those are very dear fields for our BBVA group because we're committed to the preservation of the environment and the protection of the environment. And as we see here, we have communication and information technologies. They play a very important role in all fields. This is why we have this category. It is another area, another domain where our BBVA group we are working hard, trying to give and enhance the importance of information and communication. So at a virtual world also, economics, finances, that represents a domain of research that's a must to understand in a better way business, markets, creation, and uh, distribution of wealth. This is why this category is also present within our family of awards. The underdevelopment, disease, lack of freedom and liberty, lack of basic rights is a terrible situation. They deserve our attention. And we have multiple ways of approaching this in order to enhance health care, to think about food, and to back up activities, entrepreneurial activities. We have development cooperation, that is, with climate change, another big challenge for the century. And this is why we have included this within our joint programs. And finally, this family of awards, frontiers of knowledge, this will include enhancing sensitivity and good taste throughout contemporary music. And that is a very good example of the challenge of innovating in the field of sounds and aesthetics uh, when we have the big tradition of classical music. And then our approach is that we work for the better future for our people, for people in general. We don't say for our clients. We say we work for people because we go beyond the concept of clients. And that goes throughout innovation, acquiring knowledge. It is not only our foundation. We are, of course, focused on backing up research and culture. But our group, BBVA group, were deeply identified with the nature of Frontiers of Knowledge Awards because that is our vision, BBVA vision. And the awards wouldn't have become a real milestone without the exceptional cooperation of the High Council of Scientific Research from Spain, our main public organization for multidisciplinary research and a total back up the same wavelength. We are on the same line of thoughts. And this is what we've found working with the High Council of Scientific Research. They are fundamental items for guaranteeing independence, excellence, and transparency. Experts, committees, they select the nominees, and they propose 
juries and they design the president of each jury. I'd like to give a token of recognition to CSIC, the High Council of Scientific Research. We welcome the president, Professor Rafael Rodriguez, and we are highly satisfied for this possibility, this association with the same commitment in search for excellence. I know Rafael, a dear friend, and I know how important the, our awards are for the Higher Council of Scientific Research. We would like to give a technical recognition to the many scientific institutions, cultural institutions. Among those institutions, they are the best worldwide. And we would like to express our gratitude to the members of the jury. The tasks have been very difficult. Eight committees with real milestones from different fields, and they are present today, and members of the jury with exquisite commitment, no other factors, considering only a very objective assessment. It's so important that we have the best juries and members of the jury. It's a very difficult task, but it's necessary for making this possible. Thank you. And they've given us enthusiasm and many suggestions in order to give continuity to our words. Members of the jury and their decisions are the milestone of our credibility. And we would like to congratulate the laureates, the families, the institutions where they have been developing their research. And uh, with the pleasure of welcoming Professor Sumuriai, category of basic sciences, Professor Yamanaka from biomedicine, Professor Knut, information and communication technologies, Professor Hansen, economics, Professor Wilson, ecology and conservation biology, Professor Stern, climate change, and the International Rice Research Institute, the category of development cooperation represented by the general director, Dr. Ziegler. And we have the composer, Professor Lachemann, and we have the pleasure of enjoying one of his works of art. And it's a frontier of knowledge in the field of music, and it's been a great pleasure. And uh, we would like to congratulate the scientific community and uh, artists. We are sure that our admiration is shared by the society in general. This ceremony is a celebration of knowledge, the presence of outstanding personalities from public and private domains, administration, business, science and technology, universities, culture, the media, from Spain and from abroad, that uh, proves the importance of this meeting. And uh, we enjoy music. As I said yesterday, uh, the wonderful concert at the uh, Royal Opera House with uh, Jose Ramon Encinar, the conductor. And at the beginning of the uh, ceremony, we have enjoyed Maurice Ravel's piece and ex beautifully, beautifully uh, played by Emma Alexeva and David Apolanis from the Plural Ensemble, and uh, we're working with them under the leadership of Fabian Panicello. Dear Minister Dr. Garmendia, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts your support to our awards in a very direct way. Thank you for presiding this activity and with your team. You enhance the values of the promotion of scientific excellence and innovation, two real milestones for the economy and the society of the 21st century. Lady Minister, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job and it's a very complex uh, task, and with the commitment of the government, we would like to thank you for what you're doing for our country. And uh, as we say, this is a driven force for all of us from the private sector, because we do believe this is a way towards enjoying uh, welfare and preserving Mother Nature, preserving the environment. Thank you very much for being here with us.